Okay, so I'm filming this a second time, uh, if anyone's seen uh, the upload, uh, because it was playing background noise in the for some reason on this. So anyway, uh, Anthony Joshua versus Otto Wallen happened on this card, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give a little recap for that fight at the end. But obviously, you clicked on this title because you've seen Deontay Wilder versus Joseph Parker on the title. So Joseph Parker just went out there. And he sort of did what we all knew about Deontay Wilder. We knew Deontay Wilder. He's not really the greatest boxer on a technical level. He is powerful. Obviously, the guy's got hammers in his hands. And that's always been his equalizer. But as an actual boxing tactician, he fucking sucks. He, he really does. He doesn't... He's not a very good technical boxer. We all know this. Come on, don't... I hope people don't angrily come and say, Well, why don't you step in there with him? He would knock me out. He's a powerful guy. But we all have to admit, his technical boxing skill is not very good. He's just not a technical boxer. Uh, he really just uses windmill punches. Windmill after windmill. He doesn't set shots up. He just throws big shots. And eventually, we had to have known that this was going to happen to him. He was going to find someone who's not scared of the power. Somebody who could take the shots and just pressure him. He was getting pressured the whole fight. We didn't. We seen Deontay Wilder take every back step in this fight. He was never the pressuring fighter against Joseph Parker. Well, Joseph Parker was constantly in his face, never out of you know. He never gave him the space to throw his shots. Uh, Deontay Wilder landed some good shots off the break in the clinch, but you know Joseph Parker just fucking ate them like a chad. He just didn't. They didn't affect him at all. Uh, like Joseph Parker. Now I will say Joseph Parker won. He clearly won every single round in this fight. But he didn't look that, like, special, in my opinion. Like, he didn't look crazy good in this fight, but he just had enough boxing skill and grit to go in there and beat Deontay Wilder. I think it just speaks to how bad Deontay Wilder is as a, tech, a tactician. Obviously, he's got, like I say, he's got the equalizer of the power, but obviously when he doesn't land that big shot, he just gets outpointed. And he, he clearly lost every round here. I, was, I did a live stream for this fight. Which, if you guys check that out, I'm going to start live streaming more. Uh, not just boxing, which I know it is ironic that Benny P. MMA's first live stream is a boxing, was a bet boxing card. But I am going to start live streaming more cards. Uh, I'm just going to live stream in general. I did enjoy it. It is good to talk to all you guys. So do expect to see some more live streams in the future. Uh, for sure. But anyway, a uh, little plug out of the way there. Uh, it was a really good performance from Joseph Parker, but he didn't show anything special. I don't think Joseph Parker is on his, like... Glover Teixeira type run where we're going to see him go run through the divisions. Uh, you know, I don't think we're going to see Joseph Parker go in there and start Tyson Fury or beat Anthony Joshua in a rematch. I just think, stylistically, Deontay Wilder is not really that good. He's just powerful, and I guess Joseph Parker had the grit and chin to be able to survive that. Wasn't rocked at any point, which is weird to see. I mean, for fuck's sake, Joseph Parker arguably lost to Junior Far in a... Like, I, I did think Joseph Parker won, but it was a close fight with Junior Farr. But he just goes in there and absolutely fucking batters Deontay Wilder in some of the rounds. Like, he was really close to getting a finish. He's going in there fucking windmilling punches, landing big shot after big shot on the fucking face of Deontay Wilder. And Wilder was rocked. He was on wobbly legs. Like, he generally came close to getting a finish there. So that was impressive to see from uh, Joseph Parker. And, you know, New Zealand, you got a boy, yay! You got a boy, Joseph Parker, stand up, bay! You got Joseph Parker. He's fucking at the top now. He's fucking kicking ass. So congratulations to all the Kiwis out there. You know, your boy just beat the fuck out of uh, Deontay Wilder. Shout out to all the Maldi boys. Is, is Joseph Parker from Maldi? I think he might be Samoan. I know he's from New Zealand, but he might be Samoan. But still, generally really good performance from Joseph Parker. The Saudis are going to be fucking planning on executing uh, Joseph Parker and Deontay Wilder before they leave the arena because let's not forget they had already made a deal in place to do Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder in Saudi Arabia so they're going to absolutely be fucking pissed off about that so yeah, ee, yikes yikes to the uh, Saudi Arabians uh, they got plenty of money they'll be fine but they're going to be pissed off and I am upset I wanted to see uh, Wilder versus Joshua but obviously it wasn't meant to be uh, we can never get the big fights in boxing, which is a big shame. But still, really good performance from Joseph Parker. Won, won every round. Deontay Wilder, he's not a tactician. You know, I, I, I thought that Joseph Parker would be winning until he wasn't. But, you know, he was just winning until the bell the bell, the bell, bell stopped. And, yeah, he gets a one, one by decision. But he almost knocked him out, so that was crazy to see. But, yeah, congrats to Joseph Parker. Congrats to New Zealand. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, then there was Anthony Joshua versus Otto Wallen. Uh, you know, just a feeling out process in the first few rounds. Then Joshua starts to batter him a little bit. I'm not quite sure why they stopped the fight. From what I've seen, he didn't really look that beat up. Uh, I think someone said it was because of the cuts or something, but I don't think Otto Wallen was the one who stopped the fight. I think it was his corner. I don't know why they uh, did stop it, though. That was really weird, in my opinion, but it is what it is. Good performance from Joshua. Upset we won't see Joshua versus uh, Wilder, but it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, it was a good card overall. I, uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I missed the earlier fights, which were the cooler fights, apparently. Uh, Jai Apatero, he went in there, got a really nice win. Uh, Australian fighter. He's a, one of the best cruiserweight boxers in the world, in my opinion. He went and got a really easy first round KO. So congrats to him. People apparently stank up the fucking card. But yeah, it is what it is, man. Really good card though. This is one of the biggest boxing cards ever, if I'm being honest. Uh, it was like banger fight after banger fight, which was cool to see. I wish boxing would do more cards like this. Uh, Saudi Arabia, for real, saving boxing right now. But still, really good card. Crazy upset. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to live stream more often. So yeah, if you guys were on my live stream, leave a comment. Uh, yeah, it was a pleasure to have you guys in there. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the fights. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.